all your vaginas and titties. Stand up on a tip. Well, here we go. The moment of truth has arrived. A little three-on-three three in the EASHL on tap. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Maple Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Picking up some steam at center ice. Quick pass to Barry. Sends a pass over. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Bumped off the puck. Here's a short pass to Barry. Drives it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And now it's over to B Bunny. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. On the attack along the boards. And makes the save. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Barry. And it comes up with the save. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. And that puck leaves the zone. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Pass to B-Bunny. Over the line they come. Hammers a shot. Big time stop there. Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Moves it quickly over to PTP. Moves it around along the half wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Barry. Into the corner. In he scores! What a shot! Oh, everybody's staring behind the net at the puck carrier. Hey, guys, turn around. The guy that's going to shoot it is standing right in front of the net, and it's in the cage. Montreal's got the game's first goal here in the opening frame. Pretty tightly played game so far. Not a lot of chances, not a lot of errors on either team, but now we got one. Maybe the game will open up. Carries it in. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Chicago's got the puck behind the net. Passes right to the front. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here's a chance out front. Score! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little more belief as they've evened up the score. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one timed into the net. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scoops up the puck now. Takes it across the blue line. Nice poke check. Back on a stick now. The Maple Leafs scooping up along the boards. 
with possession along the wall. Feeds it down low. Along the half wall with the puck. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Look out, a two-on-one. Right in the slot. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. And that one's stopped. High-quality chance, high-quality save. Now over to Barry. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's the pass down low. Here we go. Scores! This is a terrific move by the goal scorer here. He drives around the back of the net. You've got to have a little courage because you don't know what's coming back down the slot. And he gets to the post and tucks it in. I think the goaltender's got to do a better job. There's only one player in front of him. He's got to look around and find the where the puck is. He never picks it up until it's past him. Montreal's got a one-goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Oh, what a stop! I have been looking forward to this one for a while, but coming up, period number two, the one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. What a treat to be joined here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only, hip-hop icon, Snoop Dogg. How are you, sir? Hey, 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 baby. Let me put these headphones on so I can hear what I'm saying. He is ready to roll. Oh, crystal clear. Can you hear what I'm saying, baby? Loud and clear, sir. What a pleasure. Man, pleasure's all mine. I see you at more and more games popping up over the years. Have you ever actually been on skates? Yeah, man, on one of my TV shows, I went to a duck game, man. They put me on ice, man. I almost broke my legs, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one and only time? That's it. That's all. No more, no less. And you won't want to try it again? Never, 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 never. <laughs> Shot just wide. Exploring options from behind his own net. Get out on the breakaway. Oh, what a shot. Scores. Light up that light. That's a go, baby. Once he saw that open room, James, he just motored away from everybody. He makes no mistake to score on the breakaway. Chicago's even things up here to start this second period. Nobody seems to be able to get the upper hand here. I've been really impressed with how well played this has been. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Pankatician's got it on the offensive end. The Maple Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Hey, when the Kings went to the silver and black look in the late 80s, you're a kid at the time, but did that add a little more street cred to the hockey team locally? It really did. It put them right in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Because now we can start to rock those Kings jerseys and King hats because it was all black and gray. And if you notice in those videos in the early 80s, all of the rappers had them on from the West Coast. Receives the pass. Right out front. Swing and a miss. Off the one-timer. Oh, what a reactionary save. If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? I would make all hockey games start off with some hip-hop music. I would have a great halftime performance. And the games would be more interactive as far as finding ways to put the people involved. Not put them on the ice, but just make it more about the people like when I watch other sports I feel like the fans are more involved so finding ways to create ways to make it all about everybody involved the players the fans and the people watching at home like how just put some snoop on it you know that's what I do <laughs> I can get down with that yes sir ladies and gentlemen he is the one the only snoop dog thanks for doing this do you want to just hang out watch the rest of the period up here with us if you don't mind i mean i want to occupy this seat and you know watch some more good hockey man it's the best seat in hockey. i can assure you we will make room he is staying everybody let's He's go y'all hey past the midway mark in this period you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone 
There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Grabs the puck. And now he tries to get it across to B. Bunny. Carries it across the line. Takes the puck at the point. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Montreal's got the puck. Maz got it against the boards. Sends the pass down low. Hammers it. The Blackhawks have the puck now. And just a total sprint down the ice and icing his wave off. That looked pretty cool to watch. Both guys full out to get to the puck. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Barry. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Shot! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Quick feed down low. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Radulov's carrying it ahead. Less than a minute to go here in the second. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Intercepts it at center. Montreal's got control of the puck. Oh, no! Backside on the oo-wop to the boo -bop. Good shot, dog. Can you give me that one more time? Backside on the oo-wop to the boo -bop. Exactly. Couldn't say it any better myself. What a goal. Yes, sir. That's a good release. Quick, low to the stick side. Beats the goaltender here. PTP's one possession. Unleashes a cannon and a great save. All right, Stu, before you get out of here, I got to ask you, what's our play of the period? Come on, big game, James. Bring up that goal, man. Roll that footage of that goal. Do what the man says. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? Chicago's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they burp up another one. They don't have the puck much, and they're behind in the game. Broken up. Taken by Radulov. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Scooped up along the wall by Barry. Denied by the goaltender. Looks to set up along the point. The Maple Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Up along the wing. Lays into the body. Moves it over to Barry. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. Great defensive effort with the strip. Barry's got it into offensive territory. Centering pass in front. Gives them nothing in front. Denies him again. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. B-Bunny's got the puck. Let's it go! And that's broken up. Picked up along the boards by Radulov. 
denies him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Quick pass to Barry. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Barry's got the puck in his own zone. Great poke check on the reach. The Blackhawks take possession in the neutral zone. Moves it to Barry. And he gains the zone here. Snaps one here in the slot. Too much congestion in front. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. It's a two-on-one. Sends it across. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Works it across to Radulov. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And now he angles it across to Ma. Here we go. Penalty shot coming up. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. He scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star's probably going to be. That's three for him tonight. The Maple Leafs aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Picks up the puck in his own end. Here they come on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And that's picked off in front. Makes the save. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Radulov. Straight up the middle. Here they come. The Maple Leafs gain possession in their own end. And they'll keep on... Scores! Brad, I think they made a postage stamp of this in sweet once. Yeah, that's the Peter Forsberg. What agility to pull this off. And the courage in that close to try this move. Montreal's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. From the neutral zone now. He's got a break away. It is all over. When you look at the final stats here, James, and they had more shots on goal. They had a very comfortable lead. It seemed like they had the puck and the game in control most of the night. They looked like a firing squad out there, and the difference was they converted on many of those.